All right, guys, let's talk about compound interest. All right, so we got a quite different formula here, um, and this is modeled after the growth after the growth uh, uh, equation, and it's compound interest here. So uh, let's look at the parts first. So a a to the t is not the same as the lowercase a from before. This means the uh, total amount of an investment. Investment. So what you plan to make later, stuff like that uh, when you're investing. P is the initial amount known as the principal. All right, so that's the cash you put up front to invest with, and then you get a, hopefully a bigger amount later. All right, R is still a percentage rate, um, and that's going to be converted to a decimal. Cancel. There we go. All right. <clears throat> and n is the number of times interest is compounded per year. So that's the compound. So the interest you get um, is um, divided out throughout the year. And there's different divisions. So n has many different variables, so to speak. So here are some of them listed out. we got daily, weekly, monthly, bimonthly, quarterly, semi-annually, and annually. All right, so um, compounds. So, and you'll see when we get uh, done with the example about how a compound will affect your um, your 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 amount at the end. So um, we'll talk about that in the next uh, example. All right, and T is the number of years. Okay, usually it's in years. Uh, you don't really invest it over months. It's very rare cases. All right, and that's the compound interest uh, formula there.